All right, folks, this is it. Fennec, the mobile version of Firefox, has arrived on Android. Now, before you start, uh, let me just turn it around and warn you. This is an alpha, an alpha. That means this is very early. It's still got a lot of work to do. But if you just want to play around and see what they're up to, you can do that. Uh, Fennec is basically a new browser. Uh, if I want to go to the website, I can just click right there, and I can type in that website's name. Or if I'm searching, I can scroll through these little uh, search engines, I should say. Uh, you know, you got Wikipedia, Twitter, etc. You can add search engines at, uh, through some other stuff. You can get into that later. You also see your history and your bookmarks. These are all the places that I've been recently. Uh, if I want to see my bookmarks, I click on this and it takes me to my bookmarks page. And I click on one. Boom. I'm there. Uh, what else? Also, the menu button doesn't work uh, for what you traditionally do to get to settings. If I press menu, my options are to find in page to search, save it as a PDF, share this page using the Android share feature, or uh, the read it later, that's uh, an add-on that I've used, so that's something we'll get into later. If I swipe to the right, I get these little options to go back, forward, or go to my settings page, and this is where I go to favorite. Uh, this page has already been bookmarked, so if it wasn't, it would uh, ask me to add. I'm going to edit it, and it's there. I'm going to add a tag and say Android. Okay, I'm done. Now, if I go to the left, it's going to show me all the tabs I have open. So I'm going to open this one, go to Firefox. And then the cool thing about that is you can switch between them easily. So I'm going to click right there. And it switches to that page when I click here it switches and so on and so on if I want to close something just click the red X and from the bottom I can launch a new tab I can uh, see my save pages right here with uh, the read it later or I can go to tabs now the cool thing about this is what you're seeing right here these tabs are open on my laptop Fennec comes with ability to sync. If you have Firefox 3.5, 3.6, and you download the sync add-on, you can uh, have your tabs open up in the phone. So it's kind of like Chrome the phone, except you don't have to actually push it. I can just click on it, and it brings me to a page. And uh, let me see. Uh, it can take a little while, but sometimes you can get it there. And it can the sync can take a little while, but it works pretty fairly well for an alpha, I should say. Uh, this is your settings page. If you download files, you can get to them right here. This is going to be like your little download center. And uh, here's where you manage your add-ons. The add-ons are pretty cool because just like Firefox, you can enhance features by using add-ons. Here's one I'm going to show you called Twitter Bar. Here's the URL. Normally when I click here, this is where I go to enter the website or enter the search term, but you see this little Twitter bar icon appears. So I'm going to say testing Fennec, okay, and instead of pressing that little button, I'll press this one, which is the Twitter bar, and it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to post? And I put yes. Okay, and it doesn't redirect you anywhere. That's one thing I think it needs to improve, but hey, this is a, an add-on for an alpha, so, you know, cut them some slack. Now, go back. Uh-oh. Um, get a little s stuck right here. Let's see. Oh, right, there we go. Okay, here's my page. I'm going to go back to the previous page. And as you see, let me zoom in. The the pinch zoom is not working too well just yet, but there is going to be pinch zoom support. You see, testing Fennec half a minute ago via Twitter bar. So that worked. There's a, a few other add-ons you can do, like they have some that correct your typos, uh, some that can read it later if you use that website. So if you want to get to those, all you do is you go to the right. right? Sometimes it might not work long press on the right go to that little settings button button and then you click this icon down here and you can see what you have installed you can search for other add-ons and uh, it's gonna be the mobile add-ons that are 
compatible just search for whatever you think might be cool or useful to you and it'll come up now like I said this is an alpha there's a lot of work to be done but if you just want to see Firefox on Android you just want to see Fennec this is a good way to do it so this is Andrew from Andronica.com signing out I'm gonna go to one of my favorites websites I'm pretty sure you can guess it it is Andronica.com after all so uh, good luck to you guys hope you find everything you're looking for and this is Fennec Firefox for Android available now as an alpha you can test it out to test it out follow the link in the bottom right there in the description or if YouTube has changed the design of the site for the billionth time it might be on the left or the right or the top or somewhere in here in this little circular area and all of that good stuff